Hey, everybody, before we dive into today's show, just wanted to share with you this amazing offer from Equalife that I think you'll enjoy. It is for a free bottle of our Clean Gut Probiotic. This is a full-size bottle, a 30-day supply, taking two probiotics per day called the Clean Gut Probiotic. It has 4.9 stars, which is pretty fantastic since, of course, we don't pay anybody. These are all uh, anonymized. People are able to leave their reviews about the product. But the reason why people very much enjoy it is because you get specific strain probiotics. So it lists literally the acidophilus. It lists the bifidobacterium lactis, the lactobacillus ruteri, and many more. Plus, you get Saccharomyces boulardii, which helps to clean the pathogenic, so the harmful yeast and bacteria out of the gut while repopulating with healthy bacteria and healthy yeast. So the goal here is to be able to use this product maybe whenever you've used uh, antibiotics or you're looking to help with light bloating, mild gas, constipation, etc. Right now, it's completely free on all qualifying orders by going to stephencabral.com slash shop. Now, enjoy the show. Welcome to The Cabral Concept, where board-certified doctor of naturopathy, Dr. Stephen Cabral, shares with you exactly how you can reverse aging, take back your health, and live a life full of energy and passion with new 20-minute episodes every single day to keep you healthy and engaged. Now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Hey, everybody. We are back. Brand new show for you here today on The Cabral Concept. Today's topic is going to be going over bone broth and if it is actually considered a fast. So there's a lot of going on in the social media realms over the last, let's just say, couple of months on people doing bone broth fasts and looking for all of the benefits you might get from a functional medicine detox, from water fasting, from just doing herbal teas, or maybe even green juices. And I want to share with you a very specific characteristic of bone broth that can help some individuals, but why? ultimately it is not considered fasting. I want to repeat that. Bone broth fasting is a misnomer. In no way, shape, or form is consuming bone broth keeping you in a fasted state. And here's why I wanted to share this with you here today. Because if you are looking for the benefits of fasting, Hopefully, it's not just about balancing blood sugar and hormones and those things. We'll talk about that in just a moment with with bone broth. But the benefits of fasting are actually getting into a deeper level of autophagy, meaning to kill cancer cells as they're starting to grow in your body. That's why a lot of people are talking about fasting. Now, there's a very famous celebrity, and I think that they're amazing, and that's why I would never disparage anyone, and they don't know. They're just getting advice from other individuals where they said they were allowed to consume bone broth over their three-day water fast. Well, that's not a water fast, right? That is consuming bone broth during your water fast. Now, if your goal, as you were told, was to kill cancer cells, to get into deeper levels of autophagy, which that simply means that the body begins to, when it doesn't have a food source, go in and break down old necrotic tissue, viruses, any cells that shouldn't really be there and use those, Literally, uh, the phagocytes go in in your body, break it down, and use that to recycle it for energy and fuel for your body. It can be an amazing thing. We do that every single quarter. We take our global community, health community together, and we do a functional medicine detox. So you can work with your local naturopathic doctor. You can work with an integrative health practitioner. You can look at the Equal Life Detox. Whatever you'd like to do, you're welcome to. Or you could do water fasting. That's that's okay too. And I even have a podcast on green juice fasting. They're not exactly all the same. They're not. Um, I'll link up a podcast on the differences between a cleanse, a functional medicine detox, and green juicing. So I'll link that up today at stephencabral.com slash 29. And I'll also link up when I did on water fasting as well. I don't believe water fasting is the best place to start for most individuals. It's fantastic, but it can be highly detrimental if you have not done any functional medicine detoxing or gotten your body to a little healthier state. Now, having said that, why does bone broth not qualify? Again, I'm not against bone broth. Bone broth has a lot of benefits. Let's talk about the benefits first. You can use bone broth if you don't have a lot of allergies or histamine-based issues because bone broth is quite high in histamines. But let's say you're looking for the collagen-based benefits of bone broth. 
can be fantastic for that. There's typically three or four grams of collagen for every like 12 ounces or so of, of bone broth. Okay, so that, that's pretty fantastic. If you're looking to improve overall hair, skin and nails with the collagen or recover from workouts or give your digestive system a little bit of a rest or help with digestive-based inflammation or use a lot of that glycine that's in the bone broth for helping with intestinal permeability, all good. No issues with that at all. But that doesn't mean that we can just take something like bone broth and say, oh, you can also do a cleanse or a detox with it as well. It doesn't work. And here's why. In order for the body to get into a deeper state of autophagy, which is again, killing those cancer cells, recycling necrotic tissue, the body really can't be taking in a lot of calories. And if it does take in calories, the one thing that it can't take in is protein. I'm gonna repeat that. You can still stay in a bit of a, a fasted state and be in a state of autophagy. And I gave you the research just a couple podcasts back. As long as you're not taking in a lot of amino acids from animal-based products. Now, again, I'm not saying animal products are bad, but what I'm saying is when you take in animal products, it stops that fast. You are not in a fasted state, and here's why. Animal-based products and all of the amino acids that come in those proteins help improve muscle building. They improve protein synthesis. They improve something, they increase something called mTOR, which takes you out of a fasted state. You can't really have high mTOR and high MP, AMPK and autophagy at the same time. You can't. One's anabolic and one's catabolic. So when you want to be in a true fasted state where autophagy can take place, you need to decrease mTOR and decrease or increase AMPK. And they're essentially antagonists. So by decreasing mTOR, which is decreasing protein intake for a certain period of time, typically 28 to 72 hours, you're going to be able to increase natural levels of growth hormone. You're gonna be able to decrease mTOR, as I stated, increase AMPK, AMP kinase, and increase autophagy. So why wouldn't bone broth enable you to do that? Well, a lot of people don't know this, but bone broth contains anywhere from seven to 10 grams of protein per cup and on a bone broth, bone broth fast, you're drinking anywhere from a cup to a cup and a half every three hours for about five times per day. So you're taking in anywhere from 50 to 75 grams per day of protein on a bone broth based fast. Now, having said that, it's not a lot of calories, right? So I'm not saying that at all. I'm, I'm just going to pull up and again, I don't want to, I'm not, so I'm not disparaging bone broth. There's a time and place. Like you can use bone broth. You can enjoy bone broth, but you can't use it for a fast. It absolutely breaks a fast. Like in no way, shape or form, do you stay in a fasted state by drinking bone broth every three hours? Like that on, in no, you know, in no planet, no world, do you move into autophagy when you're taking in that much protein? Because your body still has all the amino acids that it needs every three hours to continue to work on its metabolic processes. You need to actually remove those from the body for a period of time to get into that deeper state of autophagy. Okay, so it's about, uh, let's just say 50 times anywhere. So it's 250 to 500 calories a day. So yes, it's a low calorie diet. And because of that, you could do a bone broth only day and get the benefits of what's considered like a 5-2 diet. So like two days a week. I do something called a one day reset for one of those days, but you could do it with bone broth if you really chose to. Because again, I want to stay unbiased here. But what you can't expect are what the celebrity thought that they were getting by doing a bone broth fast. Because yes, they lost the weight. Yes, they were better able to balance their blood sugar levels. And they felt really light. Why? Oh, they were taking in 250 to maybe 400 calories a day. So yes, they absolutely would lose weight. They would deplete themselves of a lot of water weight because there's no carbs in bone broth. There's maybe a gram per cup, right? There's not even any real fat in a lot of bone broth. Now, some have the fat, some don't, right? So when we look at this, we're really talking about you're going low calorie for two or three days. What I would advise you is that this isn't necessarily the wisest thing to do as well, is that if your body's getting some fuel in, it never actually makes that big switch towards a keto ketosis that you would be in during a water fast or functional medicine detox. 
And so because of that, you might actually start to lose more muscle. Now, on the surface, this may not necessarily make sense because you're taking in you know, 50 grams a day of protein, but your body is using some of that protein for fuel as well as a carbohydrate through a process called gluconeogenesis, where you're literally using some of those amino acids to bring glucose levels, blood sugar levels back up to normal. So I would rather say if you want to do a fast, do a fast. Like all this to say, pick a fast. Even green juice will allow you to get into a fasted state, even though there's calories. But because there's no real protein, you continue to stay with low levels of mTOR, higher levels of AMPK, and an autophagy. We like to do a functional medicine detox. Uh, you can literally get a free course on it. It's completely free. There's literally nothing to buy. You can get that at stephencabal.com slash courses. Just click on the detox one because that one's free. And you can learn more about the scientific process. All it is is giving your body specific non-animal-based amino acids, vitamins, minerals, sulfur-based amino acids to help the liver and kidneys process a lot of these toxins faster as your body's naturally in a state of autophagy, breaking down a lot of this old, not needed necrotic-based tissue and waste in the body. It's absolutely phenomenal. It works really well. You can get, you can do any functional medicine detox in the world that you want. You don't have to do Ecolifes. But what I'm saying is that these things actually do work. You can just do water fasting if you chose to. Just do it the right way. You can do green juice, uh, no fruits in there, or you can do a functional medicine detox. Your choice. What I want you to know, though, is to get the max amount of benefits. You cannot have protein in your diet doing a true fast. Okay, and I'm talking about animal-based protein in your diet, that extent of it, it's not gonna get you the results that you're looking for. And my job is just to share with people the unbiased truth as to get you the maximum results that you want to improve your overall health and optimize your body. So thanks so much for tuning into this Cabral concept. All the details in previous shows will, and how to complete a functional medicine detox will all be at stephencabral.com slash 2917. Head on over for all the details and the big takeaways. Take care, buddy. Have an amazing rest of the day. And of course, feel free to share the show with anyone you believe it could serve. Thanks everybody for tuning into today's show. And just in case you missed the intro to today's Cabral concept, we are giving away a completely free full-size bottle of the Clean Gut Probiotic. This is a $47 offer, yours free on all qualifying orders. And you get one of our best-selling probiotics, 4.9 stars. It has about 10 strains of highly curated good gut bacteria and Saccharomyces boulardii, which helps to push out pathogenic based yeast and bacteria. One of the favorites because it helps with bloating, it helps with gas, helps with occasional constipation, loose stool, etc. If you haven't tried it before, I highly recommend taking advantage of this offer. It's completely free on all qualifying orders. Yours free right now by heading on over to stephencabral.com slash shop. Enjoy.